Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a beaded memory wire bracelet and this design is going to be for Chinese New Year. So what I have here is a yellow gold plated dragonfly with a jump ring. I have gold seed beads, I have transparent yellow toned seed beads, and I have some red beads. I have some gold plated accent beads and I've mixed them all together to create some dimension for the design. And to start with, we will be using um, yellow gold memory wire. And the measurement across is 2.25 inches. So my wrist is 15.75 centimeters. And if I were to coil this around my wrist, it fits as such. Now, if you have a larger wrist, it's quite neat because, let me coil it around my upper arm, or not my upper arm, but higher up my forearm. And I will show you that it still fits. It's quite flexible. So I've moved it from here, which it was quite fitted, and I've moved it up here, and it kind of adjusts. So I think as long as your wrist is about um, no larger than 18 centimeters, it should be okay. And you can also buy the memory wire in larger sizes, and also smaller sizes if you want to make for children or toddlers. So the design we're going for, it's not going to be a typical memory wire bracelet where the ends are under the wrist and the focus is at the top. And sometimes there's a charm here. We're going to make it with the ends at the top and connect the charm at the top. And I will show you what it looks like. You don't see it often, but I think it looks nicer and it has more dimension when the ends are at the top. So this bracelet is a three strand. Today I want to make a two strand. So a two strand would look like this. without this last full strand. Because I think there's so much red and gold, I don't want it to be overpowered with three strands. So we'll keep it simple, two strands, and if you fancy one strand, that will be fine. With the yellow gold memory wire, I want to take this end and meet it halfway, and then I want my one strand and then my two strand and the end of this two strand I want to take it halfway around the circle and then cut so my two ends are half right here and then at the end we can cut them down a bit and loop them up and adjust them so your ends will be about halfway along the circle so I'd like to cut right here to do so, I'm using cutters, pliers that are made for memory wire cutting. Now you do not want to use scissors or a regular flush cutter, otherwise it will damage them. So we want to secure one end. You can use a file clip. You can use a bead stopper. I find bead stoppers to be a bit expensive sometimes considering what they are, um, or you can use tape. Now if you use tape, you don't want to use a sticky tape because what, what that's going to do when you remove it, it's going to leave this wire very sticky and when you try to add beads, or if you need to add beads, um, it's going to be a lot more time consuming trying to push them on. So I suggest a wasabi, not wasabi, a washi tape or a 
masking tape, preferably washi as I believe it's less sticky. Okay. So usually with the memory wire bracelet, we won't care as much what the end beads look like because they're under our wrist. We would want to pay more attention to the design at the top, but in this design, the ends are at the top. So we want to keep an eye on how it looks. So what I want to do is take my four accent beads and I want two on each end near my charm. So I'm just going to start randomly slipping on beads. I don't think I want so much red, so and you see my bead stopper fell off, so be very careful. Okay, so this is one end at the top, how it would look like. Now there is a lot of red right there and I think I'm okay with that. A lot of red right here. Okay, because I'm happy with that, what I'm going to do is close this side up. Close that up and now we're just going to randomly add our beads. We don't have to be as detail oriented because it's going to be the underside. This is going to be the top and we're going to fill the underside now. So we can just start slipping on our beads. I'm going to slip some beads on and we will get back to finishing this up. And you don't need your bead stopper anymore because we've created the loop and we can always fix the loop at the end. Okay, so I'm almost finished. If we see here, we want this end to end about right here. So I'm going to keep adding a few more and I think I'm going to trim now, right here. And because we're getting closer to our focal point, we want to be mindful of what the design's going to look like. So I'm going to start adding, actually this one, I think I'll have red on either side of this accent bead. And then the accent bead closer to the charm, I think I'm gonna surround that one with gold. So what I have here is that accent surrounded by red, this accent surrounded by gold, this accent surrounded by red, and this one surrounded by gold. So let's see how this all looks. So I'm going to I think trim a little bit more before I close it. OK, 
going to close that up. So some memory wire can be very stiff, very hard to close. You just have to keep bending. And so if I try it on. To bend the loops to the side, I'm going to use flat nose pliers. And if you see how this one's made, this goes under, and this one's bit under to the side. So I need to decide where I want to put my charm, by the red or by the gold. So I'll put it by the red for some contrast. Make sure you close it facing the correct side. And if you want more of a dangle, you can add another jump ring or two. So we have that. And so this loop's sticking out. So I'm simply going to bend it out of the way. reversible. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can use memory wire to make so many different designs, possibilities are really endless. You can use chunky beads, you can use 10 strands, you can use one strand. It's really up to you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and have fun making your memory wire bracelets.